Tell me about this song. Uh, actually, <laughs> I think I was in L.A. It was shortly after um, I'd been writing with Eric for Nick Lachey, and we got this rumor that there was going to be this TV show that Nick was going to star in called Hearsay. So I thought, well, I better write the theme song right now just in case I have a shot, and then it never happened. But I wrote the song anyway. And it's a great song. <laughs> and it's off the new record. <laughs> You came here for and it all comes down It all comes down And it all comes down What did he say, she said, he said Well, it's her way Did you think that you could get away with anything? But watch and watch you say she's a master writing, did any of the rhythms that you had naturally as being a dance student enter into your songwriting and into how you framed your sonic material? Because most dancers have to learn yeah. how to move to music and move to rhythms that exist maybe without a soundtrack. Yeah, I think I definitely, the dance totally, especially early on when I was still trying to do both things, I was still performing in companies. In Boston and this is when you had the gigging. story. Yeah, this is when I had the band the story. Right. I'd be gigging on weekends and, and, and then rehearsing all week with dance companies. Um, I think that number one, some of the parts that I danced, some of the characters that I inhabited in these pieces became songs. Right. Like the circus, the whole circus motif came from this character that I danced early, early on. And uh, it was just this vicious mean-spirited, ugly, circus carny girl. And uh, so I wrote this song very early on called Damn Everything But The Circus that grew out of her, that that character. And I revisited her on, on the last record, Back in the Circus. Mm. And actu actually that character came into the, the DVD. It's sort of, she became the persona that the concert. Right. You know, I was kind of the carny chick mm -hmm. ringmaster in the DVD and so I'm wearing these little hot, these suede hot pants and fishnet stockings and you know a sort of ringmaster vest and striding around the stage in my boots. And you meet artists today who obviously have day jobs because yeah. they cannot sustain a, a, a music only or an yeah. art only career or a dancer only career. Yeah. It's very very difficult. I've been really lucky that I think it was 1991 or 90 when I Sort of quit everything else. Their last job. I'd been a cleaning lady. I was a modern dancer, which pays you know maybe six hundred bucks a year if you're lucky. Right. Um, I was painting houses. I was babysitting. I was a nanny. I was. I edited indexes at Houghton Mifflin. Indexes. Indexes. What do you mean indexes? Commas, numbers, dashes. Really. In tables of content. Uh huh. And that was it. That was it. And then I did a little bit of like textbook stuff for like fourth and fifth graders. That is a tedious. But anyway, so yeah, I haven't actually had the your get college a day degree job hard since. at work. Yeah, my English degree from Amherst College. Woo! think sorry's easily said. Don't try turning tables instead. You've taken lots of chances before But I'm not gonna give any more Don't ask me 
That's how it goes This part of me knows What you're thinking Don't say Words you're gonna regret to